the Budgie desktop environment. By far one of my favorite user interfaces on Linux. 100 seconds, can we do it? Let's talk about it. Budgie is a desktop environment that was developed as the main desktop for the Solus project. Budgie was initially released in December of 2013, and since the initial release, it has grown and developed to become one of the best desktop environments, focusing on simplicity and minimalism with a mixture of modern components and a clean user interface. At first glance at the Budgie desktop environment, you have a very familiar layout, including your menu at the bottom left corner, some favorite icons on the taskbar and a system tray with the easy to access tools and settings. If you look to the right of the clock, you'll see a little icon. If you go ahead and click this, it's going to expose their Raven menu. This is one of the unique features of this desktop and it will give you some integrations with system components such as the calendar and contacts, as well as give you the ability to control your media and some other functionality. The Budgie desktop environment is beautiful and it's generally known for not needing to be customized all that much but if you look in their Budgie desktop settings, you'll have access to some general theming options, some Raven customization settings, and under the panel settings, you can customize the bottom taskbar and add additional panels. And within those panel settings, there are a variety of applets that you could go ahead and add, change, reorganize, and configure. Now, I will note if you're looking for something with some more customization options, I'd recommend you take a look at the Ubuntu Budgie desktop distribution as it will ship with additional layouts, applets, and some other extensions out of the box. At the moment, most of the components of Bungie uses GTK, but it was recently announced that it will no longer be written in GTK due to unsolvable disagreements with the GNOME team. So it will be interesting to follow the future developments of this desktop environment, and if there are any major changes, I'll make sure to cover them and potentially remake this video. So do make sure you are subscribed and you ring that bell so you do not miss that. Of course, a big thank you to our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. And once more, if you are interested in trying the Budgie desktop environment, you could either download the Sol project to experience it as it's supposed to be, or you could try out the Ubuntu Budgie edition. With all that, I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.